We're going to try to install ISOBuster because I know this program will do what I want. We'll have it select ISOs. We don't need any of that shit. And we certainly don't need any spyware and shit. It's otherwise a clean install like that. We're going to have it launch. And uh, free functionality only is fine. Uh, no, don't go online. File, open image file which is now on the other flash drive of this one called CD1 and this we're going to extract objects um, not now and where to put it desktop new folder CD1 just go down for it to select it because otherwise it doesn't. Click OK and now we'll wait for this to extract and then we'll see if there's anything there because allegedly allegedly this was <laughs> allegedly this was the application and driver disk so maybe it's going to have something and it's only luck that I was even able to save this. So it's actually pretty remarkable that this machine can handle a 500 megabyte file in what appears to be a right, uh, you know, a, a, a reasonable amount of time. I don't consider that bad at all. Okay, so there we go. We'll close that. Okay, close that. Go away. Leave me alone. And CD1 install app. What do you want to install? Uh, <laughs> totally useless. Okay. Preload. Nope, nothing there. I386 apps. Um, right. Yeah, that's that's gonna be that's gonna be helpful. Okay, that ain't gonna work. So we're going to have to go to uh, Plan L. We'll delete this, because that didn't appear was any of any use whatsoever. Let me get my next thing. This can be unplugged for now. And this can be unplugged for now. And God, if I even know what drive it's on. Maybe it's on this one. Uh, probably not. I have no idea what's on that. So we'll wait for that to come up. <sighs> Maybe I'll get this one plugged in while I'm at it. Because it might be on that one. I just, I don't remember. And if it would plug in, that would be actually a great thing. Is that one up at least? Yes. So this one has, yes, that's what I need. Driver pack online. That'll work because we do have interweb access. So this one I don't need after all. So we'll unplug that. You don't have any insurance. You say insurance or insurance? I found it's always wise never to activate Windows until you have your drivers in, at least with Windows XP. And uh, we'll just see if this is even going to load. I don't know what it's going to do. So I guess we're just going to come back and find out what it does. Wonderful. Uh, <laughs> Right, um, launch previous version, downloading, you know, this may take a while. I think I'm going to order a tab. To start, press any key. Where's the any key? I see esk, Kataral, and pig up. There doesn't seem to be any any key. Whew. All this computer hacking is making me thirsty.
I think I'll order a tab. Downloading complete launch. Launching it is okay. Yeah, I haven't a clue what the hell is going on, so we'll just have to come back. Oh, goody! It found something. Ten drivers should be installed on your XP games. Yandex browser. Ooh. I don't know what any of that shit is. And my only option is to install automatically. <laughs> this isn't Russian at all. <laughs> Will it install automatically? <laughs> Will it install that Yandex shit? Was it Yandex? I can't remember now. Like Spandex? Yeah, it's worth it because these drivers suck, but it's all, you know, it's the only option I got because there are none others. You know, I mean, I could scour the web for what I actually need and possibly find them from other nefarious sites with plenty of virus downloads. But why jeopardize one machine for another? And on top of that, you know, who's going to keep drivers around for an old e-machine nobody wanted to begin with? <laughs> it's, it's getting problematic to, uh, to get these drivers and stuff because, you know, XP support is long gone, so it's, it's always an uphill battle getting this going. But we'll let it do its thing and come back sometime in the future, maybe. Computer over? Virus equals very yes? Computer over? Virus equals very yes? What the shit is this? That didn't help nothing. I'm not even gonna launch it again, because that didn't look like it did a damn thing. So we'll close that. In fact, let's see. And it's like unresponsive. Jesus fucking Christ, you know? This is terrible. I had somewhere, I might still have, might be on this. I'll have to look and double check. I had an offline version, and that seemed to work a lot better, and I think that's really going to be like my last resort before I go looking all over the interwebs. I just want to see if it actually did a damn. Not that it'll load in this lifetime. What is this shit? Go away. I hit control alt delete even. It didn't come up with task manager. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, it's a pretty white thing. Oh, well, here's Task Manager. End task. End task. CPU usage 100%. Here's this. I'll have to move it. That'll be a day and a half. Hardware. We're just about ready to hit the big depot over here. I just want to see if it did a fucking thing instead of just fetching for all this time and then, you know, basically laying an egg. One that spoilt. This was supposed to be easy.
one we don't need anymore. If anything, it's on the other one. Just gotta see if we can get drivers, and then we can see if we can up, uh, uh, or rather activate the fucking thing. That may not even go. May not even go. Well, it's certainly no video driver, or at least not at the right resolution.